the GMPC was established as our national oil company to one, hold our interest in the oil fields, i.e. the carried and participating interest, and also look at the possibility of having commercial interest. And so GMPC is a strategic company. If you go to Saudi Aramco, you go to Petrobras and all those other national oil companies, they are doing a very, very good job for their country. And so in as much as I agree that GMPC may be veering off their core duty, if we can reposition GMPC and it becomes a profit-making entity, they can even give some dividend and some money to government to put into such other activities that we are talking about. But Mr. Speaker, I'm very, very worried about the state of GMPC reading this report. And if you look at page four, it starts with the profitability assessment of the company. If you look at the gross profit margin, which is the gross profit as per expressed as a percentage of your total sales, it has reduced from 50% in 2018 to 26% in 2019, to 0.3% in 2020. This is serious. From 50% to less than 1%. If you look at the operating profit, which is also your operating profit expressed as a percentage of sales, it has moved from 28% to negative 19.23%. And your operating profit is mostly your total sales, less the cost of sales. And so it means that compared to what they sold and what they bought, they've made a loss. Return on capital employed, that is the capital that you employ, everybody expects to make some return from the money that you employ into the organization. They are making, they are making a negative 16. So you are even better off putting that capital in treasury bills. Because you invest in order to make some profit. Mr. Speaker, if you look at the current ratio, and the current ratio would normally look at your current liability and your current assets. Because within a year, you ought to sell and you also ought to pay. Those that goes beyond a year are known as long term. But the current ones has to do with what happens within the year. It was 1.08, which means that you can cover your current liability and still have something. Today is 0.88. So when you take your total current assets and sell it and you go to pay your total current liability, you cannot meet that. Such a company is, is bound to collapse. The worst of all is even the asset test, because the asset test ratio deals with cash and cash equivalent. It means that today if you move into GMPC and, and make noise that you want your money, Bearing in mind that money doesn't like noise. Bearing in mind that she can't pay the day, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> yes, because money doesn't like noise. She can't pay the day. But with this ratio, acid test ratio, there's no noise you make on Mr. Speaker. <laughs> in the same way, in as much as she can't pay the day, with this ratio, you can also say that she can't pay the <laughs> It's a serious matter. This company is on the verge of collapse and something ought to be done about it.